welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be checking out a restaurant called burnt tortilla this one is located in the city of gardena and if you guys don't know burnt tortilla in spanish means tortilla quemada which means that someone burnt or tortilla and that's the name of the restaurant so that's kind of wild for a name and this place on yelp has 3.5 stars and it's a little mom and pop shop they sell mexican food and it's so mom and pop that they don't even have an Instagram page, unfortunately. But we're gonna go check out how the food is. It's been around this place for a while. It does have a good backstory, which I will tell you guys about later on in the video. But for now, let's get going. And one thing I do wanna tell you guys, if you decide to come to this restaurant, is be on the lookout for the entrance when you get here because today you're gonna see that i actually passed it because i could not see the restaurant because the restaurant is actually inside of this little plaza by this mcdonald's and the baskin robbins where that tesla's at that's where i should have been turning left into that little plaza but as you guys see i passed it and then i had to come do a u-turn over here to get back to where i was supposed to enter at but that's just a little tip if you guys decide to come here because the burnt tortilla restaurant is more inside of the plaza they also have the takeout restaurant which is on the left hand side they have plenty of parking so this is a great restaurant to come to if you're gonna come with like a big crowd and everyone is gonna come in their own car because you're not gonna have to worry about parking so as you guys saw I was able to find parking in front of the restaurant which is really cool I did come during the weekday so I'm not sure if this also is empty during the weekend but here goes the entrance of the restaurant the bar is actually on the left hand side and the restaurant is on the right hand side which is where i sat at today of course since it was the weekday it wasn't really full which is a good thing which means our service is going to be good and our food is going to come out quick this is the menu i really like the vibrant colors of like the purple the blue the tomato it's really cool unfortunately there are no pictures which always does suck but i do appreciate the details of the description they do a really good job at telling you what comes in the plate and what is included inside of the item that you order they do have fries burgers enchiladas guacamole burritos they have a ton of mexican variety that you're gonna love to get started they did give us some chips and tortillas this was free and i really liked the tortillas they were really good and the salsa the salsa was also very good it was a little spicy and it did have a little kick so you do have to be careful for that but i was fascinated with the freshness of the tortilla chips i decided to order the guacamole dip which is fresh avocado blended with tomatoes onions and spices and i'm also going to be ordering the cheese enchiladas because i'm in the mood for something cheesy something like enchiladas today but the guacamole dip was worth the 950 one of the reasons why i liked it was because it wasn't packed with vegetables sometimes when you order guacamole they put a ton of tomato onion and you end up getting like a little bit of guac but right here as you guys can see there's plenty of green which means that there is a ton of avocado here and i really enjoyed the avocado with the chips i think they made a great combination i was also using the salsa so i was combining the three things the chips guacamole and salsa and it made a great combination so if you guys are a fan of guacamole then this is a great thing to order you won't be disappointed i'm gonna show you guys this chip getting dipped in here because it just was so good and tasty i'm gonna be taking a bite of it and just hear it And there was so much peace and quiet in the restaurant because there wasn't a lot of people. This is one of the reasons why I like going to restaurants during the week because they're not crowded. But now I wanna show you guys something cool from the menu in case you guys decide to come is that you can add a super salad for $4.25. So I thought that was a great deal. So I decided to order the albondiga soup and they do give you one big albondiga with some soup. So I thought this was a great combination to order with your plate so that you can get something small to eat while they bring out whatever you order they do give you a big size albondiga for 425 which is really good and i also like the flavor of the albondiga the soup was good and my pops decided to get the green chili burrito this one has pork meat on the inside and take a look at this burrito this burrito is loaded with cheese look at all that yellow and white cheese at the top of the burrito it has a little chip with the guacamole and some sour cream with some beans but as soon as they delivered this burrito to my pops he got to work on it and started tearing that thing apart and if you take a look at the cheese enchiladas they are also loaded with a ton of cheese at the top with some salsa this plate of course does come 
come with some sour cream, rice, and beans. But for me, I really like the enchiladas. That was really what I loved from the plate. And then the sour cream gave the enchiladas a really good blended flavor that I enjoyed. I loved how cheesy these enchiladas were. Like they did not skim back on the cheese and salsa. Take a look at the plate. If you love cheese, you are not gonna go wrong with your enchiladas. Look at the bros burrito over there. We're gonna talk about it too. But I definitely enjoy the enchiladas. If you come here, this is definitely what you wanna order. You wanna take a little bite of your enchilada filled with cheese, with some beans, some guacamole, some sour cream, and some rice but overall very very good enchiladas today and my bro decided to order the carnitas burrito and take a look at this monster you guys there is just so much food on that plate there is a ton of salsa on the plate so that when you're tearing up with your burrito you can dip the burrito in the salsa and get all that red sauce on it it has plenty of cheese they give you some picadillo on the side with some guacamole so that was a nice little side touch my bro of course has to share so that i can also try his burrito since him and my pops decided to both order a burrito i was the only one who got the enchiladas today but this is why i like coming with other people because we all share so we're gonna try the carnitas burrito to see how it was and i will tell you guys that I did like the burrito I think it was the red sauce for me that I liked and the cheesiness with the tortilla and of course the carnitas were really good I decided to order the flan for seven dollars because they told us that this would be a good dessert so that the three of us could share but unfortunately I didn't know that it was gonna have so much cinnamon flavor on it and I'm not a huge fan of like flan with cinnamon but if you're a person that loves cinnamon then you're definitely gonna like this but if you're not a big fan of cinnamon like me, then this is a pass, right? But I still tried it out and I gave it a shot. And there was plenty of leftover guacamole, which just broke my heart because I love guacamole. And it really sucked because, you know, you take this home and it's going to turn black. And it's just not going to be good anymore, which sucks. But the thing that happened was that I ordered the guacamole as like an appetizer right so i could be eating it with the chips but they brought out the burrito so quick that we didn't even get to eat the chips with the guacamole right because they were just so quick i was expecting them to take a little bit longer but since the restaurant wasn't packed our food came out quick and look at the plates you guys we enjoyed everything today the food was very good my pops liked the burrito the bro liked the burrito the enchiladas were good but it was a little steep you guys for a little casual restaurant we did end up paying 85 dollars on Yelp, Burnt Tortilla has three stars and a half with 764 reviews. And I agree with the ratings that this place has because the food here was good. It was decent. I would come back for it. The prices, they're okay. It's a restaurant that's going to get you in and out. And there's plenty of space here, plenty of parking. If I'm in the area in Gardena and I want a burrito or I want an enchilada, I definitely would make the stop here. And I do want to read a little backstory about this place. It says, the Burnt Tortilla is a Gardena homegrown restaurant. Burnt Tortilla has been a family affair with Kathy, Gina, and Brandon serving the Gardena community since 1974, beginning with the original Burnt Tortilla, which has now expanded to a full-size dining restaurant and bar. The new site is beautifully designed with bright colors and attractive dining areas, able to accommodate large groups of businesses, meetings, and family celebrations. The Burnt Tortilla also has a takeout location, which is adjacent to the dining restaurant. The freshest ingredients are used in our homemade Mexican food, we are famous for a green chili deluxe burrito and look forward to pleasing your taste buds. So as you guys can see, this place has been around for almost 45 years, which is a really long time. So if a restaurant has been around for 45 years, what does that mean? That means that people like the food and they continue to visit this place because if the food sucked, this place wouldn't be open anymore, right? But this place did get started as a takeout location, which is still open to this day next door, but they expanded to this full dining restaurant and bar. And like it says, there's plenty of businesses in this area. There's a lot of offices. So this place does get busy during like lunch hour for the offices and all that. So it is a good place to come also for big party celebrations. Cause as you guys saw, they have a lot of space. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and hit that delicious like button down below. And if you want to keep going on some awesome adventures with me, make sure to subscribe. I post two new videos every single week that you're not going to want to miss. This was Stella Fox Checks, and I approve a burnt tortilla.